fact is me not knowing what's going on. <laughs> what? You know, it was it didn't have anything to do with me anymore, so I don't care. Okay, five hearts, bad sacrifice, because four spades doesn't even make. <laughs>
Okay, I'm just kind of flabber flabbergasted, so I, I'm not certain. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna open this hand. We got another extremely balanced hand. Exact, it's actually, in fact, exactly the same distribution. So it's gonna go one club, and then we have nothing else to say. Ah, uh, all right, pass. So we're playing against two hearts. West has shown spades, and East has shown hearts. They at most have what? 12 high card points because I've got 12. It is a best hand tournament. So East has 12 high card points at most. And well, similarly with West, but the fact that West just passed the two hearts kind of implies that they have even less. So partner is going to have high card points in this scenario. I think that maybe just leading hearts and cutting off roughs is a good idea here. Um, it doesn't actually cost us the king of spades in most scenarios because uh, they would still have to take the finesse later. Um, but it did cost in this scenario because partner had the jack and I had the 10. So yeah, they got an extra trick there. But the idea behind that lead was to like make them cause the decisions here. Uh, when partner and I probably have tricks in other suits. Okay. So the heart split for them. They get two more hearts. Uh, they got the ace of clubs. They're going to get the ace of spades. I don't know whether the king of spades is a safe return. I don't know whether the diamond is a safe return either. It's just, it's just the king of spades is very wrong if east happens to have the jack of spades. Um, because then I'm just setting up tricks for them. Um, my king of clubs is good. I think we just return a diamond. That's what my instincts are telling me. Okay, I think that was right. Okay, we're getting a bunch of tricks here now. Okay, and we, we found passive leads for partner if they ever get in, but I, I don't know if they will be. So let's see now. Okay, partner did have the jack, which is good for us, and they're going to have another passive lead. And it looks like we're going to get another club and another spade. Well, actually, that's not guaranteed. Play the king here. Oh, well. It's, it's done. They've made it. They've made it. Partner needed to play another spade, not a diamond. That's going to be a very bad board. So with this hand now, we have a really gorgeous hand. I think I'm going to open this one two clubs. I could open it two clubs because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tricks. We only have four losers generally. I mean, we still we could technically lose a heart, but it's unlikely. The question is, like, maybe a reverse would be sufficient here because we have a bunch of hearts and we have four spades. So maybe we try to open this one one heart. They partner bids for one spade, which is huge. Four diamonds is actually really, really good for us because that means that East and West probably have a bunch of diamond honors. Most probably just East has a bunch of diamond honors, which means that partner has more space for non-diamond honors, which is exactly what we need. Um, we, we particularly need spade honors. So this definitely looks like a hand where slam is an option. So I'm going to bid um, for no trump, asking partner about uh, how many key cards he has. If he has the ace of diamonds, that's really good. But also if he has the king of spades, that's really good. So let's see, what does partner have? One or four. So one key card is enough. Let's ask partner for the queen of spades. Okay, partner does have the queen, no lower kings. So this just feels like a very clear cut six spades bid. Maybe six hearts is better? Nope. Six spades is definitely the spot to be in. We just need to be roughing high. Pitch club. And I think we can just claim. I mean, you need to draw Trump first, but I think it's pretty clear. All right, awesome. Perfect spot. And then we get a four clubs opening by West to start this off. We've got a lot of four four level preempts in this in this set. Um, I don't want to let them play there. I would very much like to play in four spades or four hearts if partner has. Um, I mean, the, the only problem here is East could 
potentially have a bunch of points and I could be getting myself into a dangerous spot. But I think it's just more likely that partner just didn't have a call to make. So we should just double here and uh, pray that this makes. Um, okay, so we have a spade loser, a club loser, and two heart losers. Most likely it's only one heart loser, so it looks like we're in the right spot. The spade loser could go away on finesses. Um, and the, die the club loser could potentially go away, although it is quite unlikely. The distribution of the hand. Um, is East's ten of diamonds singleton? Probably not because West showed a really long club hand. So if anybody's going to be short in diamonds, it's going to be West. So I think the way to play this is we should play a heart to the ace and then another heart to prevent roughs from happening. And I guess we would just play East to have the king of spades. Um, but any time that heart split 2-2, this also is the correct line. But I do really want to prevent roughs from diamonds because I think West could easily uh, not be roughing diamonds. Oh, there it is. All right, so we're going to probably get a club return, okay? And thankfully, West was the one that had the ace. So here, none of the pitches are particularly useful for us. Let's play a spade. And let's win the two. I want to play jack of hearts. Um, and as long as West doesn't have four hearts, the ace of hearts is the right play here, okay? Um... And we don't care about the last heart. Is there a potential way that we can guarantee this contract by end playing them? Yes. So I think what we do is we just play out diamonds. And now West has to lead something favorable for us. Um, so since West was in with the queen, they had a few options. They could either play a spade. Gives us a trick so we can pitch a spade on a diamond. Or two, they can lead a club. Um, and that would give us a rough and a slough, which allows us to pitch our last spade on the diamond. We don't have to take the spade guess anymore, which isn't exactly a guess. <clears throat> so now we can pitch our spade. And there we go. We made our four hearts contract. Beautiful. The spade finesse was on anyway, so it's not a big deal. But I think being in four hearts there is definitely enough of a win. Okay. So now we have a total of 16 high card points, six card diamond suit, four card spade suit. Let's open this one diamond. I don't see anything else to open this with. They do a transfer. Since West is the one who's bidding one no trump, I'm a lot more hesitant to do anything extra. So I'm going to pass. And now they're showing, okay, now they've got a really strong hand. Partner has almost no points guaranteed at this point. So we're just going to keep passing, and they find four hearts, which, you know, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if this makes, just because West has at least 15, East has at least 10, um, and I have 16. So actually, it's to the point where someone is actually lying here, and partner probably has absolutely nothing. I'm expecting East to have some major distribution. Um, so we're going to pass... Partner is going to lead a spade, which is a great lead. Um, partner led the nine of spades. Partner is very likely to be doubleton here. Um, and it's very unlikely that West is doubleton. Either way, the nine is forcing out the king. So I think it's the right play. I mean, West is not going to be singleton king here because of the no trump opening. Um, so that was a safe play to make. The only thing is that the only question now is do we get our club tricks um, because we didn't play the ace and then cash our club tricks are they going to be able to pitch enough clubs oh they're pitching spades on diamonds um, hopefully partner can rough in on this one no no not not the case um, so now we don't get any spade tricks so that was a mistake um, and I think we could have prevented that mistake so now now we can play our spades they're gonna get an extra trick because I didn't take my ace of spades and then cash my clubs so that's a shame but you know now that jack is good and I think I'm supposed to pitch a spade and they have a trump Okay. All right, we lost an overtrick there by ducking. 
um, because they had the Ace King of Diamonds, which we should know that they do have the Ace King of Diamonds and they can pitch two spades. So it was it would have been smart to cash out there. I did mention that partner had no points, so there's no chance that they have any diamond honors, and therefore they would be able to pitch the spade losers. So um, I could have done better there. Now. Uh, we have a total of how many high card points? We have 17. This is a 2-no trump. Um, I mean, 2-no trump accurately conveys my points, but double accurately conveys my um, four-card spade suit. I mean, partner still has the ability to bid stamen. I don't think that 2-no trump denies uh, anything. So partner just bids 3-no. Hopefully our heart stopper is enough. Okay, it is more than enough likely, unless West has the Jack of Hearts. Um, so it's going to go Heart, another Heart. I'm going to take the Finesse here, um, because, I mean, it's so much more likely that East has the Jack. So let's do that. All right, cool. There's a trick. And um, we just have the rest of the tricks as long as Diamonds fall. Okay, Diamonds fall because we have one, we've got two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got the rest. Easy. Cool. Alrighty. And now we have. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We've got five five distribution, which is really good. We have 14 highs, so we are going to open one heart. And once again, partner is not bidding anything. Um, and the opponents are showing an extremely strong hand. Uh, three diamonds is actually probably a really gutsy bid because West is quite likely to have diamonds. Uh, and now they're 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 going to four spades. And the question is: Is five hearts potentially a good sacrifice here? Ugh. No, I don't think it's enough. I don't think we have enough. We get doubled and we go down for a number. So we just we just have to do our best here. All right, our hearts are set up. So I think we just play Ace of Diamonds, King of Hearts, bash down the heart suit. Nope. Okay, partner did have a long heart suit, so um, that's sad. So maybe maybe five hearts was a good bid. It's kind of looking like it. It it would be. Um, I mean, we would just pitch hearts. We just pitch hearts. There's nothing else to do here. I'm gonna trump another heart, and hearts have now become irrelevant because my queen of hearts is the last one. And if I play it, then it's gonna be a roughness left. So, not it, it's not never gonna be a useful play. So anytime I have a chance to pitch, it is going to be a heart pitch. I think that they just have the rest of the tricks on a cross rough. Well, oh no, partner had another spade and another spade. And that, and that is me not knowing what's going on. <laughs> what? I mean, I guess I should have known what that was going on, but, uh... You know, it was it didn't have anything to do with me anymore, so I don't care. Okay, five hearts, bad sacrifice, because four spades doesn't even make. Okay, all right, that went uh that went well. Okay, cool. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, here we have a takeout double. We've got opening hand. Partner is now showing the strong hand and telling me to make a decision, and I kind of want to be like, no, you make a decision. <laughs> I mean, I I I don't have a stopper in diamonds, which is what I guess three diamonds implies. So we're not gonna do that. Um, I do kind of have, we, we're not exactly a minimum, but we are 14. We're kind of close. Um, so the question is, do I show my four hearts or my four spades? I'm going to show four hearts because it's lower, I guess. Partner bids three hearts. And I mean, since they have at least 11, we're going to bid four hearts. So we'll, we'll do it. Okay, good thing I didn't choose spades. But I guess partner just had like a generically strong hand, and that's why they wanted to keep going. All right, so we have 
two diamond losers and a spade loser, potentially a heart loser if things break badly. Um, we can potentially pitch a diamond on a club, but we would have to draw trump first for that to work. Um, and we can get rid of a bunch of spade losers by trumping them as well. So I think that's what we're going to work on immediately is we're going to um, play a spade up and hopefully that's queen from queen king um if so that makes life a lot easier okay let's let's get a idea of how the trump break okay that's not good news so we're gonna lose too many tricks here um And I don't think there's much we can do about it. And this is also a problem because West is going to... Well, actually, it would be with a natural trump trick. I'm just considering whether or not it's right to trump with the 7 or play low here. Because, in theory, West could have another high diamond card. So I think we're going to trump with the 7. Okay, that was right. And then we play Queen of Hearts... And then they just win one more heart trick in the end. Um, and then our last heart is going to be good. As long as we just don't play the heart, we're fine. Okay, cool. So down one. I don't know if there's anything, any damage we could have done to that one. We needed hearts to split. So, yeah. Okay. So let's have a little look-see at how we did. Where are the provisionals? <laughs> I'm waiting. Hello? Hello? Are you there? It's calculating. Don't be impatient. Okay, here they are. So let's see. 59%. All right. Very, very good. Um, yeah, board one was extremely good. And then board three was pretty good because we were in six spades. Four hearts making. It's a good board. Um, and then the three no hand, four spades down one should be pretty normal because all the robots are getting there and they're getting pretty much exactly the same defense. And then uh, we only went down one and four hearts. So 59%, that should probably put us in the top five. So, yep, I'm happy with this performance. Um, we will see what the actual resorts are and probably it's going to be in about 11 hours. So, yeah. Um, see y'all soon. Alrighty, the results are in tonight. Our score went up a little bit before we were at 59 or so percent, and we popped up to 60 percent. And this is really interesting. We've got a bunch of people at 60, 61, 62, 63, and then someone pops up to 67. But there's a lot of people up here in these 60s, and I mean, I think there's as many people in the 60s as there are in the 50s, which is quite impressive. Well, we congrats are in order. Well done to Midani22, King Juju, and Light19 for coming in first, second, and third place. Y'all are awesome. Uh, well played, guys. Okay, so um, I think that's it. So happy with how we did today, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!